What's going on guys and welcome back to the 2024 Maumee River Walleye Run Series. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about how to actually fish the run. Um, in my previous videos, I've talked to you guys about pretty much everything you're going to need to know to prep for the run. You know, what rod and reel you're going to want to select. I taught you exactly how to rig the Carolina rig up for the run with the floating jig head on there. Um, I've talked to you about how to select weights, how to adjust weights based on water level. And finally, I've talked about, uh, as far as Carolina rig goes, how to adjust your colors and what, what uh, good color combinations are to fish during the run. Um, and additionally, I've also talked to you guys about good waders you're gonna wanna select to use during the run, as well as how to organize and sort all your tackle in your waders for the run. So pretty much everything you need to know to prep for the run, I've taught you guys. Now comes the biggest part, which is how to actually fish the run and how to actually go out there and catch some fish. Now, when talking about how to actually go out there and fish, um, the first thing I'm gonna to talk to you guys about is the basics, how to get out there, get started, get casting. Um, so first of all, you're gonna get out there and you're gonna find a lot of spots are gonna be crowded. You know, you're you're gonna get in lines with guys. A lot of times you'll be pretty close, almost shoulder to shoulder. So um, uh, generally get out there and obviously water level, uh, depending on how high or low it is, will determine how far offshore you're gonna get in the water when you wade. Um, and you'll kind of see the lines forming. Uh, you'll get an idea of what the safe safe depth to get out there is um, and you'll want to kind of fall in line with the rest of the people for the most part um, but then once you find your spot once you get situated um, you'll have if you didn't already tie a rig on get your first uh, rig on for the day or whatever you'll probably end up adjusting from wherever you start but get a base rig tied on and first thing you do is if you are on the mommy river side um, you'll want to look to your left or if you're on the Perrysburg side you'll want to look to your right but you'll want to watch the guy downstream of you watch for him to cast first before you make your cast because if you cast before him or you end up casting over his line as he's casting you'll um enhance or up the chances of you two tangling lines and Sometimes tangling up, it just happens. It's the nature of the run. You have so many people shoulder to shoulder fishing. It can just happen, but following the good casting order in your line um, by casting one after the other, one after each guy downstream of you. Um, if you go in that order, generally the line will keep well and you won't tangle up as much. Um, but now you'll make your cast out there. Um, can kind of play with your casts as you go, but you'll want to kind of try to target the same area, same distance out that the other guys are fishing for the same reason, less than likely to tangle up. But basically you'll cast out there and can't really turn my rod, don't have the clearance between the camera, but you'll cast out there. And as long as your weight's heavy enough, um, basically you're gonna wanna make your cast at, basically from 10 o'clock is where you'll cast out and let it drift from 10 o'clock to about two o'clock. Um, two o'clock or whatever the rest of the line's doing so you can kind of all follow suit. Um, you'll cast out there and when you cast out about 10 o'clock it gives just enough time that when your weight finally gets to in front of you that's when it'll start hitting the rock. So you'll cast out 10 o'clock and as it gets in front of you if you're as long as your weight's heavy enough you'll start feeling it bounce because the rocky bottom of the Maumee River your weight is going to start ticking along the bottom so you'll feel right at the tip of your rod your kind of your rod will kind of be going like that tap 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 along the bottom as that um, weight skips along all the rocks um, so basically what you're going to want to feel for then you'll feel tap 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 from all the rocks and the best way i can describe it when it's a fish on versus a rock is it's like tap 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 and then almost uh it almost either feels like you kind of float into a softer tap, I'd say, like almost like you float into a weed bed or something. And it also is paired with like tap, 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 and then like a slow bend to your rod. So because it can be really hard to tell that subtle difference between a rock and a fish, 
you're kind of going to be always jigging your rod. And then anytime you feel something different uh, between all the taps, 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 if there's a slow pull or you just feel something different than your typical rock taps along the bottom, that's you'll just want to set the hook. Um, you can be, I, I'd say I can pro probably set the hook up five to ten times in one run. You just kind of keep going. Just any any time you feel that little difference, you just want to set the hook because you never know when it's a fish. Um, and with the run, best thing to do, just set the hook. When in doubt, just set the hook. Um, so yeah, that's basically going to be how you're going to want to get out there and cast and how to follow the flow of the line. Um, now I'll get out there and I'll take my cast, take about, I don't know, if I get out there and the weight's feeling good or if it's not, I'll make my adjustment. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do, take about 10 casts, uh, 10, 20 casts, whatever. And if I hadn't gotten a fish yet, or I don't like the feeling of the flow, the first thing I'm going to adjust is my weight. Um, now if you got out there and you selected the right weight right away, then you'll move on to what I'm going to recommend next. But if you're looking to find your weight, um, first, then you want to find the weight that is skipping along the bottom. As I've said in previous videos, it's not kind of like harsh grab, 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 like snagging on the rocks constantly. You will snag up sometimes. It's just the nature of the run. But if you're snagging every time, then that's not what you're looking for. You basically, you don't want to be snagging on the bottom and you don't want to be not hitting the bottom. You want to be on that fine line where it's just kind of just softly ticking up right across the bottom. So just has that right amount of flow that it's kind of tick, 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 and not like tick, 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 getting stuck on the bottom or flowing right over the top. You just want that perfect weight where it's just kind of constantly, consistently moving across the bottom. Um, so that's the first adjustment I'll make. Find the right weight first off. And then once you find the right weight, take 10, you know, 10, 20 more casts. Um, and then if you're still not feeling it, still haven't gotten any bites, the next thing I'm gonna adjust is my leader length. Um, leader length, uh, as I've said before, it'll vary two to four feet generally. Um, it can get all the way up to six foot plus, or it can get as low as a foot to 18 inches. Um, me personally, I'm always going to start with a longer leader when I get out there, because um, you can always start longer and then you can just trim down, um, going six inch to foot intervals um, and keep trimming down, casting out until you find that right length that's getting bit. Um, and so yeah, that'll be the next thing I'm gonna do then is change, switch up my leader length. And then finally, if all else is failing, the last thing I'll look for is the right color. Um, basically the colors that I'm looking for to change through, it'll vary. As I've said, if you haven't seen if you haven't seen all my previous videos breaking down each of these things I'm talking about, uh, go check out my channel. They'll they'll help you out and get a better point at where I'm going with all this. But um, different color heads I'm using, uh, you know, pink, yellow, uh, black, green, orange. Um, depending on you know darker days, go for the more dark natural colors. Brighter days can get into the brighter colors. Um, yeah, uh, but that'll be the next thing I and final thing I adjust is my color. So um, if it's darker day, for example, um, I'm usually starting with a black head and a white and red tail. I like that black head on the darker days because it gives a different, gives a good shadow through the water for the walleye to key in on. And with that white tail being natural, but that red bit adding a little bit of flare to it, I just think it's perfect one to get grabbed. And then if say that one didn't work, then the next thing I'll try is blackhead with like a chartreuse tail. Um, just, and then slowly kind of working my way brighter until I find that, uh, find that right one and get bit. So yeah, that's basically how I'm going to do it. I'll get out there, make my casts. First thing I'm going to adjust is my weight. Second thing I'll adjust is my leader length. And finally, the last thing I will adjust is my color of either the head or the tail, or both, just depending on what I'm feeling. Um, and then as one last repeat here too, basically when you get out there and cast, you're gonna wanna cast at 10 o'clock. Um, so that by the time that, um, by the time your weight hits up, starts hitting the bottom, it's basically right in front of you. Um, and you'll let that flow to about two o'clock. Um, 
two o'clock or you'll kind of feel your drift end and then that's when you'll reel back up and um as another reminder if you're out there in the lines watch the guy downstream of you you want to let him cast out there first give him a second to let his drift get caught and then you can make your cast after just to help avoid those tangle ups um and the last thing too is generally try and find the same casting distance with one another that also just helps out helps keep tangles free um and then other than that i would say just snags are gonna happen while you're fishing it just to, as i've said before just a part of it when you fish the mommy river while i run the mommy is entire rocky bottom so no matter what weight you're going no matter what you try and do you will snag up if you do snag up best thing to do is you know you can give yourself that couple hopes cut try and pop it off real quick but if it doesn't pop off then the best thing to do to keep the flow going is point your rod tip down at the snag and just pull back and your line should be light enough that you can easily just break that jig off and then reel back up tie a new rig on and get going again but yeah that's basically going to cover how you're going to want to actually fish the run um once again now i've officially covered everything from weight adjustment leader length adjustment um uh, jig head and tail color adjustment you know what rod and reel you're going to want to use and also what waders you're going to want to use so pretty much everything you uh need to know to go out there and be successful for the run now the last thing i'll have coming soon uh before i you know we got i think it's but we're about 10 days out from uh official walleye season um the official uh period where the walleye run rule is going effect you know march 1st to may 1st um but until then that's when i'll start having some on the water videos but until then i plan to make you know some videos on the hot spots uh, so you have some ideas of general areas where to go to fish i'll get those out there too um but other than that yeah if you've been enjoying this this series and these videos have been helping you out really appreciate it if you go ahead and like the video comment down below let me know you're excited for the run and other than that just comment down below if you have any questions happy to answer them happy to help you guys out and other than that just subscribe and stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching guys